Hey guys, Trisha Bidji here. Got a massive sniper rifle to do a video on. So this is James' the sniper rifle. Uh, he got two of these. So if you didn't see my other video, I just did one on this Well M MB4411, I believe. It's like 4411 uh, B. It's a modular sniper rifle. A really cheap one, like $170. So this is like your entry level sniper, but it shoots fantastic. Um, so go check out the video on that. I just did that. Um, awesome sniper. I hope the video uh, does it justice. I probably went too long on it, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to be doing this video on a Echo One M28 uh, or like an M700 or R700 type um, rifle, and that's what this is. Um, I'll go ahead and give you an overview on it real quick. Um, so. I'll go ahead and explain everything that's on here, but I kind of just want to look over it real quick. Model M28 Echo 1. So, that's that. Um, so, I'll go ahead and go over it really quick. So, first of all, we have a plastic frame. This whole frame is plastic, um, like most sniper rifles. Um, it's a pretty nice thing, plastic, though. It's very thick. Um, it will not crack and it's more of a, it's not like an ABS type. I'm not sure what it is. It may be a polymer, but it was painted. So, um, the scope on here is a matrix three to 12 zoom. So the zoom is incredible on this and I have it. He has it for three right now. Um, it, there's really no reason to go to freaking 12 zoom for an airsoft, <laughs> for airsoft. Um, even three zoom is like, some people would argue that that's too much, but I think three zoom is perfect for, um, a sniper rifle like this. So the safety is going to be right over here like your standard BSRs. Um, back is safe for this fire. Um, and then the standard bolt. Um, the trigger is a little bit different from a VSR. As far as I can remember, I haven't shot a VSR in a while. I think it's a little bit different, which is pretty nice. Uh, contours your finger really nicely. Um, so this is the magazine well, but this is a fake magazine well. This is where the real one would load. The uh, the airsoft one loads up here. And we have about 20 round magazines, I believe. Um, I can only fit about 20 in here. And James, he has three of these. And he has a triple mag pouch here. So he had, you know, was all set to go to throw this on his plate carrier. Um, these are .25s in here, but I put .3s in the mag we're gonna shoot because um, that's what he needs to use. Pretty nice. He could get another mag, so he has three and then one in the gun. But three mags are arguably enough. Um, the matrix scope is, again, three to 12 zoom. It's also illuminated green and red. So I'll show you that. Well, I'll try to show you now. Um, I don't know how the eye relief is going to be. I have no idea. So hope you guys can see that. But that is on red, and that's on three power. It goes up to five. Um, on the brightness scale. Um, the barrel is fluted. The hop up is right here. I'm not sure if this comes with the gun, but this is like a Harris style bipod. I believe that's what they call it. Um, it's got springs, so it springs, and then you push this button in, it shoots out, um, and then you can push it in and kind of adjust it where you want. Um, so that's that. Pretty cool. Uh, the barrel is fluted, but there's this huge suppressor on here. This is a Force Recon 7.62 by 51 uh, NATO 308 Win Winchester by Forcon USA. That's interesting. It's got trademarks. Um, so when you take this thing off, this thing is probably as heavy as the gun itself. I'm not, well, yeah. <laughs> it is incredibly heavy. So as you can see, the barrel is actually pretty long. Um, and then there's threads on the front here, which this is an adapter, so you won't have threads on the front that would look kind of silly um but he got an adapter that takes in place of the orange tip which is looks nice um black python tight bore 6.01 barrel so it goes for you know from here to like right here so it's like an m16 inner barrel but still not maybe not even an m16 length probably like a standard m4 length barrel so these vsrs don't use really long barrels but this is a tight bore i have not cleaned this yet so it could be incredibly dirty um but it shoots really well so I'm not sure what bucking's in here. I think it's a maple leaf. Zach put it in here. Um, so this is not foam filled, but I don't think you can foam fill it now that I look at it. 
because there's like a bunch of metal in here. This thing is so heavy. Um, so, magazines again hold about 20. I have point three sitting here. Um, and these are uh, Airsoft Alpha point thirty, so they're just cheap point thirties, like golden ball stuff. Um, but they shoot really nicely. Um, again, the hop-up is right here. Um, the trigger box uses the VSR standard, but um, there's a steel sear in here. So, and there may be some other steel parts in here Zach put in here. I'm not totally sure. I'm not going to open it up because it work, works fine. There's nothing to do to it. Same thing with the MB4 or whatever. The well sniper here. This thing, please watch the video on this. It actually shoots really nicely. I was, so, I'm so surprised on it. Um, I hear some people bash well, um, but this is a perfect example of a really nice model. So I don't know that they all work like this, but the only thing that I can complain about that sniper is the well one right there. Um, is the feet per second. It's like 360, 370 with twos um, when it should be like right at 400, um, but it's a little low. So let's go ahead and just shoot this. I'm going to be shooting at the closer targets here. This is about 120 feet. Um, I'll tell you if I hit, you should be able to hear it. Nah, I don't think so. I'll, I'll just tell you. Hit. So it shoots uh, a little high. I kind of did that on purpose. Um, so you can get more range out of it. So if James is watching this, it looks to be three clicks. So if I aim... No, that's like all the way. Okay, let me put the hop up down a little bit. This hop up adjuster is loose. It's not shifting on its own, I don't think. That's low. And I think the spring is upgraded in this, so it's a little harder to cock. Okay, so let's go and shoot it at range. It's about 200 feet out here. Let's see. And that's okay. Took a little while to get out there, but. pretty damn good right there. Let's go ahead and try to hop up down a notch just a little bit. Alright, that shot pretty well. The consistency may be an issue. Um, but it seems to be shooting actually pretty good, so I wouldn't be worried about it. It just seems to be uh, wanting to be have the hop up up, which is how most snipers are or long range guns. Um, at least in my experience, like with my M16, I have to have a I have to have the hop up set up because if I have it like right in the middle, it's really kind of sometimes inconsistent. Um, so it's like it wants to be hopped a lot so that it spins the BB a lot and it actually spins it straight. But you then you have to adjust your scope. Um, see, the hop up is up quite a bit, so then I'm gonna move the reticule up so that it kind of matches so that it's not over hopping so much. I turned it the opposite way, but that range is incredible. So, um, i say you could hit people up 250 feet with 10 30 with this, um, because I'm shooting at about 200, a little over 200. Let's go ahead and just adjust this real quick. Maybe turn the hop it down just one click. Alright, that's pretty damn good. Whoops, wrong way. All 
Alright, that's pretty good. So, sorry for the long video, guys. Maybe boring, um, but this sniper shoots really well. Whoops. Yeah, that's shooting pretty far. Um, consistency seems to be pretty good, but obviously the wind's going to take your BB. It's really hard to get a really accurate shot with Airsoft. It really is, um, unless you're like Novrit. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how far Novrit shoots, but I've, some of his videos, it seems like he's shooting at 200 feet, and they're actually shooting like literally straight on. It's just a laser, and then you can see that because he's got great uh, camera equipment, but he can actually see the BB like hit the target at 200 feet and it's just perfectly straight um and i don't know how what he has in his gun i know he makes conversion kits or sells them so it's out of ammo i'm gonna go ahead and uh fill it up a little bit more and uh tune it a little bit more i i, I want to side in for about 220 feet um then the bb start to drop at about 220 200 feet um obviously you get further kills than that if you aim up but I want to shoot at like 200 feet because that's a good range for a sniper. My M16 sight in for about 200 feet, um, but since my M16 is semi-auto, I can get better kills with it at range because I can just go bang, 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 whereas this you have to pull the bolt back. So I kind of want this to be uh, more consistent. So, uh, But if you have any questions, please comment below. I really do recommend the M28. It's a nice looking rifle, uh, but obviously you'll probably need to do trigger upgrades because these commonly slam fire, which is just stupid. That's so unsafe. Um, but yeah, common slam fire, so then you'll need to get some steel trigger parts. Um, as far as pop up parts, the Echo One's not all that bad. I did shoot it back when it was stock. Um, it's not all that bad, but this is probably maybe 30 feet more range, um, and about the same consistency as it was with the stock setup, but a little bit more range to it. Um, so obviously, you could do some uh, bucking mods or uh, upgrades and barrel upgrades if you want. So I'm not sure what diameter barrel comes stock in this, but I think the bucking is probably not very good. Um, so if you want to buy VSR barrel and VSR bucking, do a 6.01 um, or 6.03 even, something like that, 6.02, whatever. Um, use 30s and get a better bucking. Um, or you could do an AEG mod and use an AEG bucking um, and barrel. So there's a lot of options here, and I have only worked on one sniper um, internals. I've only built one sniper and it wasn't really that successful. Um, so, um, I'm kind of newbie when it comes to these snipers, but I'll tell you that, that, uh, well sniper over there shoots great. Uh, very consistent, but the FPS is low. This one has no issue with FPS. Um, just, uh, probably consistency, just slight consistency issue, which can be tuned by adjusting your scope and hop up. Um, so to get it to perform well. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video, but if you liked it, Give it a like. Um, I really like making these videos. Um, I should have some videos on a customer's gun, an SR-10, another SR-10. I'm upgrading his gun. The parts may be in today. I'm off to check tracking, but it said they were in uh, Columbus, so I'll have to check if they're out for delivery. But um, I might be able to put that gun together actually tonight and get that done. And I may make a video on the gearbox, but I'll probably wait till tomorrow to make a shooting test outside. And then uh, he'll come pick up the gun, and then he's actually probably going to drop off his brother's gun, which is a KWA Mod Zero, and he wants upgraded. Um, he hasn't decided if he wants it upgraded or not. Um, but So I may be upgrading another KWA SR, well, not an SR-10, but CQBR, KWA EG. So if you have any questions, comment below, guys. See you later.